What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Keanu Reeves went beast mode. For this list, we're looking at the moments when Keanu Reeves' characters went all out to achieve their goals. Naturally, since some of these moments involve the plot, there will be spoilers ahead. Also, rest assured, if we could have gotten footage from John Wick Chapter 4, there would be a moment from it on here too. But we will all just have to wait for the digital release for that instead. If there's a beastly Keanu moment you want to go Baba Yaga on us for leaving out, tell us in the comments, peacefully. Don't pick up that pencil. Number 10. Total Bonehead. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Bill, what? These are heavy. Yeah, heavy metal. Even in his early roles, Keanu Reeves unleashes his inner beast. The eponymous Bill and Ted are engaged in a time travel adventure in this sci-fi comedy. So naturally, when they go back to medieval England, they decide to dress up like knights and fight each other with swords. However, after Ted falls down the stairs, his prone body is stabbed by a guard. Ted. Search the castle. There might be more. Bill engages said guard in a duel. But just when Bill is in dire straits, Ted comes up from behind to clock the guy with a massive bone. Ted supposedly fell out of his armor, and while we're not sure how that works, his quick actions make for a most triumphant victory. Dude, you totally boned that dude in the head! Yeah! He's a total bonehead! Number 9. Jack Traven versus Howard Payne. Speed. Hey, Jack, is that you? He's so persistent, he always gets his man. LAPD SWAT officer Jack Traven has his work cut out for him throughout Speed. While there are plenty of hype moments, the final confrontation between him and bomber slash ex-bomb squad officer Howard Payne sees Jack at his most savage, pursuing Payne on a train. In LA, not Spain, Jack crawls atop the cars to get closer to save Annie, Payne's hostage. After Payne discovers the money he received is ruined, he shoots at Jack in an attempt to kill him. After running out of bullets, he climbs out of the car and onto the roof. Hey, I'll drop the stick for you with that stuff! Ah, I'll get you! I'm gonna get you! The pair of them struggle, with Jack getting the worst of it, since he doesn't want Payne to remove his hand from a dead man switch. However, some quick thinking from Jack has Payne come up short. Brutal. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm taller. Number 8. Kai versus Mizuki the Witch. 47 Ronin. I know what you are. You have no idea. I'm not afraid of you. You should be. In this fantastical retelling of the real 47 Ronin incident, original hero Kai faces off against the witch Mizuki in the final confrontation. While Kai is initially confident, Mizuki soon transforms into a dragon. Her serpentine form and fire breath are formidable, but Kai's own inner powers let him perform some impressive feats of his own, like splitting some of that fire with his sword. Ultimately, though, Kai makes an impossible leap and drives his sword into the bestial Mizuki, slaying her. Anytime someone fights a dragon one-on-one -on -one is awesome, but the fact that Kai is played by Keanu Reeves only makes it that much cooler. Yes. I know. Become a Watch Mojo channel member and get exclusive perks like Mojo emojis, loyalty badges, priority comment replies, and exclusive members only content, including live list rankings with the Mojo staff and peeks behind the scenes. Don't miss out! Number 7 Lobby Shootout The Matrix. Would you please remove any metallic items you're carrying, keys, boost change. Holy shit. This legendary scene has some of the most incredible action in a film stacked with amazing revolutionary set pieces. When Morpheus is held captive in a building, Neo and Trinity waltz right through security with guns. Lots of guns. A SWAT unit proceeds to turn the lobby into Swiss cheese, while Neo and Trinity take them all down. The frequent use of slow motion, as well as the variety of firearms, makes this a shootout for the ages.
but it's Neo's effortlessly cool moves throughout. From his run through the pillars to his cartwheel to that smooth final kicking takedown that make this a supremely badass scene. I know it. He's the one. Number 6. Weapons Shop Fight John Wick, Chapter 3, Parabellum. John Wick, 14 million. Open contract is now in effect. All services are suspended. The third John Wick film has a ton of creative and entertaining fight scenes to choose from. While the title character using a horse as a deadly weapon is incredible too, the brawl in the antique weapon shop is even better. John Wick enters the shop, and after briefly modifying a gun to shoot one bullet, he soon battles his opponents with knives. <laughs> The fight plays out almost comically, with John and his foes throwing blades at each other. But the utter brutality of how many knives John uses and moments like that knife going into the guy's eye are no joke. We may want to look away at some points, but it's impossible to do so. Where are you going, Jonathan? Number 5. Johnny Utah and Bodie's Final Confrontation Point Break. Missed you by about a week in Fiji. But I knew you wouldn't miss a 50 year storm, Bodie. FBI agent Johnny Utah spends much of this movie undercover, befriending charismatic surfer slash criminal Bodie. Johnny finally catches up with Bodie in Australia during a huge storm after the ex president's been on the run from the rookie agent for a few months. When Bodie refuses to be arrested quietly, the duo engages in a brawl in the surf. Sorry, my friend. <laughs> While not as technically impressive as other fights on this list, the atmosphere and emotion of the scene are top-notch, and Utah still acquits himself well. Despite Bodhi holding him underwater, Johnny manages to handcuff his former friend, effectively checkmating him. While Utah ultimately lets Bodhi go to have one last fatal surf, their clash remains a memorable one. You know, there's no way I can handle a cage, man! I don't care! You gotta go down! Number 4. Chateau Battle – The Matrix Reloaded I'll handle them. Handle us. You'll handle us. You know your predecessors have much more respect. The second Matrix film sees Neo and his comrades in conflict with a program called the Merovingian. Neo decides to stay back in his chateau to handle his subordinates. After guns prove ineffective against him, the Merovingian's minions set at him with a variety of antique weapons. Neo fights them all solo, using many of the weapons himself. You see, he's just a man. The opulent setting, incredible choreography, and Neo's nearly flawless takedown of the henchmen make for an awesome illustration of why Neo is the one. He may be just a man, but he's still wrecked house, literally. You will be the end of me. Number 3. Catacombs Shootout John Wick Chapter 2. I needed the boogeyman. I needed John Wick. Just tell me what you want. John Wick's second outing is just as bloody as the first and ups the ante in a lot of ways. While the climactic fight at the museum is worthy of mention too, the firefight in the catacombs is our pick. After performing a hit in Rome, John Wick escapes into the catacombs below, only to find that he's been double-crossed by those who hired him. Thankfully, he stashed a few guns on his way in. John uses pistols, an assault rifle, and a powerful shotgun to mow through the killers sent to take him out. The dimly lit environment and bloody gunfight show John Wick in his element. Plus, the fact that he's able to take the time to restrain his opponents while reloading his weapons before actually shooting them demonstrates just how unintimidated he is by them. I'll make it quick. I promise. I appreciate that. I'll try and do the same. Number 2. Subway Fight – The Matrix Mr. Anderson. Run, Neo. For most of the first Matrix film, agents are terrifying, unstoppable opponents. But when Neo is stranded at a subway station facing Agent Smith, 
he decides not to run. You're empty. So are you. This fight has a little bit of everything, from slow-mo mid-air gunplay to brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat. Smith may still feel overwhelming, but Neo's persistence and creativity in the face of it is truly beastly. He even steals some of Smith's moves. Neo may end up fleeing the fight, but only after he gets the better of Smith, with a little help from a train. Goodbye, Mr. Anderson. My name is Neo. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Neo and Morpheus spar, The Matrix. He knows Kung Fu, and we're struggling to breathe air. I know Kung Fu. Show me. John Wick gets revenge. John Wick. He killed John's dog. John Wick's pencil trick. John Wick Chapter 2. It's every bit as brutal as the stories. Number 1. The Red Circle Shootout John Wick John Wick's first outing quickly establishes how legendary the hitman's proficiency is. It was tempting to discuss his return to work by... No, just sorting some stuff out. But let's be real, the Red Circle Club is where it's at. When he learns that Yosef Tarasov, the object of his revenge quest, is at the club, John assaults it like a one-man army. The almost 10-minute sequence has tons of highlights throughout. John drowns a man in a sink, then he slays his way through a spa. He even terrifies Yosef by deliberately not shooting him. And then, the killing goes up onto the club floor, with more of John's impressive gun work. He may not get Yosef here, but Keanu slash John's ferocity throughout makes this sequence still one of his best. Victor's dead. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.